Welcome everybody. It's Mrs Sharp here and welcome to our seventh assembly of this term. Can you believe that? Time's wearing on. Here we are in the 1st of March and it's so glad, um, so, it's so good to have this opportunity to speak with you all. We're going to cover a number of topics in the assembly. First of all, it's just good that we maintain contact with everybody. Mrs Washington and Ms Doble are going to launch an exciting new initiative they're taking forward in the school. I'm going to let you know what's happening for in the learning for different groups who are coming to school now. And we've got two special guest appearances from people outside school who have a message of encouragement for you. We'll also have our usual lighthouse moment of the week. But before we do all that, let's just have a reminder of what we've got to remember to do. The, I'm very pleased to say that the numbers of of people who have had a positive test for COVID in the Northeast are going to have, have reduced dramatically, but we still have to be on our guard. We still have to follow the rules to make sure that we can keep going like that and, and eventually get numbers down to zero. So we need to wear a face covering when in public places and in school. We need to avoid crowded places. Clean your hands using sanitizer or soap and water. Maintain a two, two meter distance from others and self-isolate and book a test if you have symptoms. So our current situation, what's happening in school just now? So senior face learners who have had a, who have a practical element to their course have started to come back to school on a rota basis starting, they started last week. So they've done a whole week now and we're now into week two of it. We're now into day six of the rota. So this is for people in S4, S5 and S6. And it's going very well. Senior phase learners have come in. They've got to got set to work immediately with their tasks and many of them have made huge advantages, advances in their practical work already. A whole day working on one subject has lots and lots of benefits but we can see that learners are tired at the end of the day, but it's well worth it as it's so good to see you all being able to be in school and have this chance to complete your practical work. In the Learning Hub, we've welcomed a number of new learners last week and it's good to see them. The Learning Hub is now spread across the library and the back room off the library, which has meant that everybody is kept together. As I said last week, Everyone in school now has to distance by two metres and the tables in the canteen and the social area are set out accordingly. And I must make special welcome, special mention of the dance class who rehearsed outside in the quad last week and it wasn't so warm the day they were rehearsing so well done to them. So I'm delighted today to have Mrs Washington and Miss Noble join me in this assembly. They have some important news for you as I said they're taking forward a new initiative for Fraserburgh Academy, which will have an impact on all of us. The Rights Respecting Schools Award is a long-standing initiative across British schools and over 1.6 million children in the UK go to a school who have the, has this award. And nearly 5,000 schools up and down the country are working through it. The award recognises a school's achievement in putting the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child into practice within the school and beyond. And so it's very, very important that you all know about it. So I'll hand over now to Mrs Washington. Hello everyone, it's Mrs Washington here. I hope you're all keeping well. Ms Noble and I will be speaking to you today to provide you with more information about the UNICEF Right Respecting Schools Award. During this assembly, we will be discussing what the award is, why it is important, our journey to gold and explain to you how you can get involved. Our journey to achieve the Gold Right Respecting Schools Award is an exciting prospect for our school. Not only will it help us to be recognised for all the hard work towards the Fraserburgh Way, but it will mean we are part of a worthwhile nationwide initiative designed to help us make our school an even better place for us all. Being on this journey will mean that you will join over 1.6 million other young people who go to a right respecting school and enjoy the benefits of this award, as you will learn about your rights and the rights of others. 
I believe it is important to gain an understanding as to what the Right Respecting Schools Award is about. The UNICEF Right Respecting Schools Award is in recognition of everyone in the school's achievement in putting the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child into practice both at school and beyond. It is about embedding the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child into the ethos and day-to-day -day running of the school, ensuring everyone recognises and respects children and young people's rights, but also promoting that children and young people recognise and respect everyone else's rights. Now that we all understand what the award is, let's look at why it is important for us to try and achieve the award. We want to achieve this award to make improvements to our school community. The award can do this as there are four key areas of impact for young people at a right respecting school, and those are well-being, participation, relationships and self-esteem. Schools who have already achieved the award report that their young people are happier and healthier. They also report that their young people feel safer as there's less bullying and people feel more cared for in a right respecting school. It's also commented on that young people have better relationships as they feel valued for their differences and they respect each other's rights. Young people participate more in the wider community and there's increased engagement. At a right respecting school, young people feel empowered to get more involved with making decisions, not only in school, but in the wider community. And they really start to understand their place in the world and how they can make it better. These outcomes are what we aspire to at our school, and we hope we can achieve this together for you. Furthermore, the Right Respecting School Award embeds perfectly with what we are already striving to achieve with the Fraserburgh Way, and therefore it is an opportunity to be recognised for the good work we have achieved so far. The journey to becoming a right respecting school is an exciting venture. There are three important stages to the journey, bronze, rights committed, silver, rights aware and gold, a fully fledged right respecting school. To achieve gold usually takes around four years, so it will be a long journey but we will be empowering each other along the way as there'll be plenty of opportunities for everyone, staff and learners to get involved. The journey to becoming a right, right respect Our first step in achieving the Right Respecting School Award is to achieve the Bronze Award, which recognises the school as being rights committed. As Mrs Washington has said, this embeds perfectly with what we already strive for with the Fraserburgh Way. There are further initiatives already in place in Fraserburgh Academy that link directly in with the achievement of the Bronze Award. These include the implementation of our school rules of being ready, respectful and safe, our senior executive, the Diversity Club, the Eco Club, Anti-Bullying Week and the Holocaust Memorial Interdisciplinary Learning, which sadly had to be postponed this year. We have also given out the baseline questionnaire to all pupils and staff within the school and by the end of this term we will have launched the programme to the whole school staff, pupils and parents. We will also have our pupil steering group in place. Throughout April and May, myself and Mrs Washington will meet with our pupil steering group and we will start creating our plan for achieving the Silver Award. Once this is complete, we can apply for our Bronze Award, which we hope to achieve by June. In the next academic session, we will start working on the action plan to achieve the Silver Award. To get started, this is where we need you to get involved. To become a right respecting school, we need you, our learners, to join in and get involved. We need your ideas about how to take this forward, as this is about making improvements to our school for you and by you. If you would like to join the Pupil Steering Group, please let either myself or Mrs Washington know by March 15th. Even if you simply have some questions, feel free to email us anytime. Finally, we would like to say a huge 
thank you to all of our colleagues and all of our pupils. One of the first steps in achieving the Bronze Award is to ask the staff and pupils within the school to complete a baseline questionnaire and would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has returned these. The responses have been fantastic and it's given us a great starting point for achieving bronze. So thank you so much for your participation and don't forget there is still time to complete these if you would like to contribute. For pupils, you can find the questionnaire on your registration group on Teams. Thank you so much for listening and if you have any questions, please contact either myself or Mrs Washington. Thank you again. Thank you very much to Mrs Washington and Miss Noble for that. They've done a power of work already and I would really urge you to get involved in this. And if you want to get involved, contact either Mrs Washington or Miss Noble by email and let them know that you're keen to, to, to be involved in the, whole, in the whole process. We really need pupils to lead this and pupils to be part of the planning and the execution of this. So please, I, I really urge you to, to think about it. Good afternoon, so, Fraser Academy. My name's Conrad. Well, well, as a gentleman I'm just about to speak about, you'll remember in last week's assembly, I spoke about how important it is that you engage with your online learning when we're back and as when we're back in school, we need to be ready to move forward with our learning. I mentioned last week that a number of local people wanted to give you a message of encouragement to help you with this and also because they know how important it is for your future. So today we're very, very pleased to have a message from Connor Anderson from the Robert Gordon University and from Mark Cowie, who is the manager of Fraserburgh Football Club. So first of all, Connor. Good afternoon, Fraserburgh Academy. My name is Connor Anderson and I'm from Robert Gordon University. I'd like to take the time to thank you for inviting me to your assembly today. I just wanted to provide you some words of encouragement to say that we know it's a challenging time for online learners and especially in a school environment where you've not got your peers, your friends, your teachers and in that classroom environment. However, online learning is providing you with core skills that's going to benefit you in the future, whether that's going on to higher education to a university, whether that's going to college or whether that's going into employment. Businesses are using these technologies all the time to connect with people over, all over the UK and further afield, whether that's in meetings, uh, presentations, workshops, or conferences. So keep up the hard work. It is difficult. Hopefully we get back to some normality soon. But Fraser Academy have said that you guys are doing an absolutely phenomenal job of your online learning. So well done. And uh, hopefully we get to see you soon uh, at Robert Gordon University, hopefully, if not virtually, with some activity engagement um, through our Wine and Access team. Best of luck. Thanks. Bye. And now hopefully we should have Mark Cowie, who's the manager of Fraserburgh Football Club. Hi kids, it's Mark Cowie here, manager of Fraserburgh Football Club. Look, I know times are, are really tough just now, um, but I think there is a bit of light at the end of the tunnel and we are nearing the end, so hopefully sooner rather than later we're back to a bit of normality. In the meantime, you, you don't get your time at school back, um, so I encourage you to engage with the online learning do your best, that's all we can ask. And hopefully once we do get out at the end of this pandemic, we'll be stronger for it. So take care of yourselves, take care of others and all the best for the future. Stay safe guys, thanks. So thank you to both Connor and to Mark for, the, for their input. Very, very wise words from both gentlemen there. You don't get, you won't get your time back that you would have missed in school, but you can you can make up for it by engaging properly with your remote learning and making sure that you're in a good place so when we do come back to school, we can hit the ground running. So I do thank both gentlemen for their contribution there. And now for the lighthouse moment of the week. Again, lots of varied pieces of work for many of you. And the work that was shared included uh, a video of Callum Barber and 1P1 doing a very strenuous workout. My goodness, Callum. Uh, an impressive poetry recitation from Logan Mayer and 1M2. Stuart Armstrong doing his experiments in his kitchen and for chemistry and in fact making his own or creating his own in indicator solution. So well done, Stuart. 
Logan Mayer again, well done Logan, and Caleb Gibson from 1P1 who did some great work on a risk assessment and technical. Yes, you've got to learn about risk assessments at an early age, it's important. Emily Reid, 1D1. Emily, you produced a very high quality work on corrosion in science, well done. And Mr Hill said that this is your usual high standard, so excellent. Pupils in 2K1 did some great work on refraction with Mr Beats in science. And Alexander Wisely in 1M2 was put forward by Miss Patterson for his Scottish music video. But, and a drum roll here virtually, the lighthouse moment of the week, this week, goes to Andy Watt, 1M2, for her outstanding artwork. Well done, Andy. So to finish off, have a good week. Remember to register every morning on your registration teams and try to keep to your timetable as much as you can. Remember always the phrase of our way to be ready, respectful and safe and try to do that in everything that you encounter this week. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.